But he called you out, and now you're changing your mind. You're changing your mind from big bat to catcher. So he no no I, he's he got just, you a little bit. You don't listen. You no, really I really do. don't listen. No, I do. I said, I said my opinion is the same. How they should do it after talking with a lot of Cardinals yesterday. My understanding of what their direction is, but my opinion remains the same, and I still think it's right. The you goal got... is to live rent free in someone's head and then <laughs> dunk live... on them. I dunk on the catcher can be the bat. Maybe it can be both. Two Ooh, birds, yeah. one, one bat. Stone. I'll take Murphy from the A's and say, okay. And then you got to upgrade, maybe get a DH, get a guy with some thump there. But I would like to see, like, I want a monster. I want a big three. I want a big three. I want a monster. Yeah. I want a monster out there. We had a big three last yes. year. Yes. Even if you pick up a good catch, you ain't going to have the big three. I want a monster. You want to make another $10 bet? Oh. Then what? Well, let me find, oh. let me find numbers first because. I don't want to make well, this don't, just don't based on... Don't offer a wager and then look well, up stuff, because mm-hmm. I'm not looking at no. it. Yeah. doesn't seem fair. Just, well, like, I'm going to read like... you the stats. I think that they will have a player on the roster in the lineup that is just as good, if not better, than Albert Pujols was last year. Second half, Albert. The reason why I'm, I'm bringing talking it about, up... I'm talking about the whole season. I'm not, because the reason I bring it up is... Um, as I pointed out, they did have a stretch where they lost 8 out of 10, which some would say would be floundering, mm. um, rent-free. Mm-hmm. Um, but second half, where they where they put it together, and Albert Pujols was magical. Magical, right? Yes. And they still I know. had stops and starts offensively. Need a monster. So that's why, that's why I'm putting it in that context. His second half numbers were as good as anyone in baseball overall. And I think you want to bat that can do something similar for the entire season. Maybe not to that extent, but something similar. All-star caliber, you know, every year, a guy who's consistent. Not Well, he had two bad years and a good one. I want That's monster. what I want to see. The guy off of Big Major three. League. Who's the big I guy in Major I League? Got out of hat. The big guy in the Major League on the other team. Parkman? Like, Park. I want Parkman. I want Parkman. I want that shimmy shake up there. The big boy. What if Tyler O'Neill actually has equal... Equal numbers to Albert Pujols in 2023. Then you have a big then you're four. four. Yeah. Then oh. you have a big four. Because you're including Jordan Walker. Well, we'll see. We'll see what he's up. What if Nolan Gorman no, th- I hits get 26 What bombs? if, what no, if, I, what if? We've talked about this. I get all that. Like, I think, do I think Walker's going to be a good pro? Yeah. I don't know if it's going to be this year. I don't know when it breaks out. I boy. think when is going to be a really good major league shortstop at some point. I think Gorman no. can be a good major leaguer. Maybe Yepes is a guy who can who can really build on it quickly. I mean, he looks like a major league hitter. There's no question. I just think you don't want to have too many ifs. There you go. No ifs. And you can, have, you can have an if here and if there, but if you're depending on two or three guys, my fear is that you're going to have that bottom part of your batting order that could be a waste. Now. How about this? Let's Let's go through this. How many ifs do you think the Cardinals have? Is it fair to say Carlson's an if? I, yeah, and I don't want to say that. But no, I, I think do. Too. I'm fair. agreeing. We yeah, can I, agree. I, I think oh, he's, Don't get me wrong. Oh, I'm, I, not, I'm not trying to get you here. Oh, I know, I know, but I want you to understand no, where I'm coming you. from. I, I'll get you. I'm a rights holder, so I think everything's going to work out, but I'm trying to be as pragmatic as I can. Don't get you. Yes, he's an if. I actually think everything is going to work out, and I'm not a rights holder. But So we said Carlson if. Fair to say O'Neill's an if. Yes. Okay. Fair to say Gorman is an if. Yes. Those are the three. Ifs. All right, hold on. Fair to say Yepes is a bit of an if. Yes. Yes. Fair to say that even though we love him in the future, that Jordan Walker is an if for 2023. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, Brendan Donovan, I know he's more not of an, an infielder. If. Okay, but it's one year. Let me tell you why he's not but an if. But it's one year. Let me tell you why he's not an if, in my opinion. Because you're not depending on him to be a guy that can carry your offense in stretches. One more guy I want to mention. And did I count right? Was that five ifs? Five ifs. And I was four told bucks. there'd be no math. Seth, you said no math. Lars oh, Newbar. Newbar. He'll do the math. Lars Newbar. Yeah, an if. Okay. So I agree with you. But Lars also, I mean, Lars had a pretty good year. So if he's an if, I feel like Brennan Donovan, they have kind of similar, they have I similar you, one yeah. year, really, really strong season. Okay, here's why I also don't think I would put Newbar in the if category. Like, Don, first of all, you're not depending 
on Nupar necessarily. You're not depending on Nupar necessarily. Yeah, I mean, he could be a fourth Your starting right fielder. Well, he could be Donovan. Like, he batted leadoff in the playoffs. You're not depending on, but yeah, but you're not. I, I, don't get me wrong. He was their best hitter in the playoffs. You can have Donovan in games. the outfield. You can have Nupar <laughs> in the outfield. The, the, to me, I, Donovan in the outfield is not really how I foresee it. But you can have either guy, so they're not depending on either one. To, that's why O'Neal and his health. If he's healthy, he's going to hit. He's going to be good. But he's an if. Carlson, you're depending on. That's why he's an if. Newpar, Donovan, you have other options to be in there. But you're kind of depending. Like, if O'Neal isn't, if O'Neal isn't O'Neal, you don't have another guy to plug in that can do those things. Really, power wise, nothing. The other guys don't come close. Gorman to him. in corner outfield. We're going to see Gorman as a corner outfielder. You don't think a guy who played third and second could no, play? No, he can. Right but that, field? again, now that's you're talking about. O'Neill was a Gold Glover. I'm not saying he can't be done. I'm just saying that that's still an if. You know, like if that works out that way. I think we have a lot of great things that could all be right as a rights holder. I believe in every one of those players individually, but because you have a bunch of ifs. I'd rather them, and they have resources. A lot of today. Go get some. Go get the monster. Yeah. Get a big Park. three, and guess what? Maybe have a big four. How much fun would that to have a big four? I want Parkman, and, and you're winning games twelve to nothing because yeah. the pitch bagging them up. But here's my point about all of that. I think we agree. I think we had six ifs, if I'm not mistaken. Not it. Not it. Yeah, but I don't put Donovan so much as an if or Newt because I don't think he's a little if. You're de- you. It could be one of the other guys. You're not depend. You're depending on Carlson, and you're depending on O'Neill. But you don't think Lars Newpar has more certainty at his position than some of those other guys? The fact that he played right field, batted leadoff in the playoffs. Lars Newpar was was really he good. Tracked this the past ball pretty year. well. He was way better in 2022 than 2021. My whole point is, I agree with you. That's five or six ifs. However you want to judge it. I have very high confidence that three of those guys will work out. I don't know who they are. But if you have six quality guys that are either unproven, not a long track record, or injury issues, I have very high confidence that three of them are going to be pretty dang good. And, and yeah, two or three of them probably will underperform. But you have, in my opinion, six good options, and you only really need about three of them to be starters. I agree with that, but... If you can, if you have the resources to go out and get something that's more of a certainty, again, strengthen, not lengthen, because it makes Dirty. me because it makes me sound smart. T-shirt is being made. Certainty. If you if you have the wherewithal to acquire more certainty, I don't know if that deal's out there. I don't know who it's going to be. I might go in that direction. That's all I'm saying. I, I agree with you. Look, trust me. As a rights holder, I see everything through rose rose colored glasses. So I agree with you. But if you, this year, they have the wherewithal to go out, because they got a lot of pieces. Got a lot of pieces. To trade? If if you yeah, want to go no, in that It'll be Contreras, because the dude is literally reposting on his story daily of himself in a Cardinals jersey. I so if you get So if you get Contreras. I disagree which, with that. If you get Contreras. Yeah. And I, I'd i be fine with that. I, he's a good offensive player. I wouldn't consider him one of the big three. Charlie. You know, unless, unless he takes it to another level. They're going to trade for a catcher. Yeah, I agree. Uh, okay, let me get to the text line. 855 Murphy. Murphy's the guy you'd like to see? I would love Murphy. You can pick whoever the best Blue Jays catcher that you like. Pair him with Kiz. Let Kiz catch 45 games. Yeah. Did somebody rip me on the text line? You can read it. Yeah, no, I am. You think I'm not going to read the ones that they rip you on? <laughs> <laughs> Anywho.